this town feels like Fallout 4. It does quite a bit. I noticed that. I actually mentioned that to James, what, last night? Oh, he's doing his Twitch stream. I forgot about that. All right, Let's folks, welcome said. back. Thank you guys for stopping um, by. Yeah, I mentioned that to James, how it felt kind of like a cross between Nuketown and in Call of Duty and Fallout. And then now the part that the main farm that we have is in kind of reminds me a bit of parts of Doom Eternal. I haven't played my PlayStation in forever, now that I think about it. It's amazing how much detail they put on a map this big. It really is. And I had looked at this map a while ago. I just never, um, I was going to do a single player save. I never got around to it. Somebody has a lot more time than I do. That is for sure. I kind of have to make time. Which is fine. I mean, I've been working on the same truck for three days in a row now. Oh yeah, and that situation got better. I ended up finding the issue that I was after. The main one. That's good. Fingers crossed, that's a freight valve. Is there a chemical in this, uh, this yeah, tanker? Be. Okay. Yeah, it should be. Oh, that's the wrong way. Well, that's not good. Come on, come on. I just got hit by a car. Oh, James had that same issue last night. Uh, we muted too. Yeah, it was right there at the corner by Ikea. I was heading up to the middle of James. The first go around, James got hit by a... Uh, this car is really aggressive, man. Be able to fill up from here. Well, so. and then James had we were bringing back the scorpion and the bear last night. James had pet fish. I was pressing him, came barreling down the main logging road to help the forwarder. Oh my goodness. Get 
sorry to be an idiot, but I can't figure out where to sell these logs. Over there when you get to the hill. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think I'm here, here but I don't know where here. here. When you get into the... You need to come to, to me, basically. Over here. When you get into the mill, it's right there on the right hand side. Like right at the Just, gate. uh, just try air, it just come out. Uh, I can't get my display. Are you running lowered spray rate, Crown? Uh, 250 is on now. Okay, okay. Mine is at 200, so that's good enough. Yeah, I got it to 100 for the, the big field, but uh, for this one... This one I just uh, increased a bit. Yeah, for 16, 8, and 5, I found that uh, 250 was the sweet spot for it, for those three. And then 200 was the sweet spot for 18. Oh, okay. Okay, this is where I was before, but uh, it, I couldn't get past the tracks for some reason. Yeah, yeah, it happened to me last time too. I don't know what's the issue here. I couldn't pass the, the first time too, but then I turned back and I took them. Maybe, so it's I, you, maybe it's if you do it too quick after the train has gone by? I don't know. It's here, basically. Okay, thanks. Okay. Why is what is going on with my history? Uh, get it in the uh, square box back there. I have a square box. Right here, we're at. Okay. Triggers turned off. Oh? Money. Now I gotta find my way back. I mostly work my way through the forest. the right away there. Yeah, uh, well, it's not going to be this road, it's going to be the next one. Just my sound here, right here. Here. And you just Oops. Yeah, just run over there. Yeah, sure, no big deal. Big truck. Yeah, I'm just doing the edge down. Oh, yeah. And I'll start working down the middle. This isn't the way I came. It pretty much makes 
So this is a um, big map, small field. I mean, big map, big field, small equipment kind of thing. These little uh, MTZ tractors have incredibly loud engines, man. Yeah. Oh, it's unbelievably loud on in, in, when you're in first person. It's even worse, yeah. There's, I would wonder if you can go into the uh, XML for the sounds and adjust the sound volume that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm in NCAP view right now. It, it's not overbearing, but it's a little bit loud. To me, it just looks obnoxious. A little bit, yeah. I can see you off in the distance, ground. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's better. The clock is going off, at least. Yeah, yeah. I adjusted some setting, and I don't know what effect it had, but the fog just is clearly gone. I noticed that up here, too. I like it. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what happened. We were talking about it, and then it just, it's gone, gone, like, completely. I don't know.
every now and then I'll get in a mood where I, I want to either do construction or logging or farming and vlogging. Deforestation of Mother Russia. <laughs> Yeah, not bad at all. We keep this up, we're, we can have steak for dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, really? Like the expensive steak? Well, I don't know if they have A5 Wagyu in Russia. Uh, no. That is literally the... Wagyu is A5 Japanese Wagyu is literally the most expensive meat. Yes, I know. Aren't they like a thousand dollars or something? Yes. Yeah, for a a filet mignon of it. That's ridiculous. Oh, how the cow is raised. What you learn from watching the beards of butchers? Yes, I need to post more of their videos in. I want that trigger. I do too. I used to have an 885. I like the one that they have. Oh, look at Mr. Hotshot. Well, a buddy of mine was selling it and I bought it. No, not you. Not you, not you, not you. Maro. Don't watch me try to operate it. Oh, yeah. Is he trying to load with the Larrera? Uh, the green one. Oh, the Forerunner? The Timberjack? Yeah. yeah. I'm in the Larrera. You guys do tell me to do keep up. Yeah, I'm on that road that was to your right there, Colin. Just finishing here. What well, I missed. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it looks nice. I can edit. Sweet. Much appreciated. Dang it. Don't take me a minute to get back there. Gotta get through the minefield. 
I just send her, but be yeah, alright. Alright, scoop. Y'all are the ones loading them, I'm just processing. I will come help you at some point there, Rainy, but probably once harvest is done. That's fine. I want to log in the winter. I think the snow James, will be fine. Good there is good, James. James. That's good. I just have a few large trees that I need to take out. I'm trying to cut us a... Uh, a uh, road to the mill, make the, or at least to town, that'll make it a little bit Another easier. one? Yes. Straight hey, shot. We already got you. <laughs> hey, you gotta think, a lot of the companies around where we're at, they have more than one road coming out of the woods. If it's flat, there's no reason not to. I mean, you've got it's a valid point there. Here the terrain structure is not that bad. Yeah, sort of. It's about 50-50. It just depends on where you are. Well, I'm talking oh. about the map. Oh. I thought you were talking about here still. Yeah, you don't want to get into that topic again. Huh? Great command at I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even gonna bother trying. You stepped in it. I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's bad enough that I'm already listening to Russian heavy metal while I'm processing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, was worth, that was worth it. Uh, I wasn't kidding when I said I really get into it. Yeah, I can tell, man. Even though I don't understand what they're saying, some of the music is actually pretty good. Whatever that is... There's a great demand, though. Once again, I'm not even going there. I've done embarrassed myself for tonight. Well, it's, uh, it's factory for the uh, butter. Oh, so butter. Yeah, butter. Ah, okay, nice. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any cows, because that would actually help a lot in getting us out of the game. We will, we'll have some here in a couple of days. I, was gonna I say, always have a great demand for butter. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant and I have a great demand for it too. Which is very unfortunate. <laughs> Please hold while I argue with myself in a different language. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna that's that's gonna be a real good one for the streams. 
So far, the so far the small equipment has not been very popular. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There'll be more eye candy later. Exactly. And, you know, I, 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 I don't know about you, uh, Sirius, but, uh, I've said this in my streams before. You know, I'm not going to stream something that I won't play. Agreed. You gotta enjoy what you're doing, that's, that's the whole purpose. Exactly. And, you know, this is, this is actually something I enjoy. Now, whether pe other people enjoy watching me do it or not, well then, I don't care. You know, you can come in, sit here, watch me, you know, incorrectly load my way or you know you can go find someone else that knows how to do this stuff a lot better than I do because I'll tell you I'm not I'm not the freaking master of this yeah yeah no, I hear you you know like the saying goes jack of all trades master of do it very <laughs> true no, there are, there's stuff that, yeah, I, I try not to be a clickbait kind of person. I want to enjoy what I'm doing. And I just, I have to work on, I mean, this probably, to be honest, I should be streaming it on Facebook and then just take the whole, um, whole stream and then make it a time lapse. Because we're going to be doing the same thing basically the whole day. Um, but, we'll see. I might do that next time if it's another similarly repetitive task. We'll see. But FS22, once that arrives, I think that content will be hopefully relatively popular. I need to pre order this week. That reminds me. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be getting the, the Forza Horizon 5 first, and then... Yeah, tell me how that is. That game looks interesting. Yeah, the, I have the, 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 the form, and yeah. it's, it's nice, it's a nice game, and um, the five looks uh, really, really good. I mean, it has a lot more cars, the map is a lot bigger. Um, they fix the sounds, I think, finally. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know about the sounds, how good they are, but I think they added new sounds, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And improved them. But, but yeah, yeah generally, is, uh, I like the game, so I'm just gonna be getting... It, it will be fun, for sure. My kids were quite disappointed I used my Steam gift card to pre-order FS22 instead of Forza 5. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Earn your own, then you can do. Oh, please tell me you said that. Please tell me you said that. That was popping. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> now that said, I do still intend to get Forza 5 at some point. When you get around to it, because I get yes. when it goes on sale. <laughs> Very true. Oh, hey, Wentek, I didn't even see him going. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was in here. I forgot to mention. Okay, yeah, he's sick of us? On, uh, the, the grass field. I forgot to mention that uh, Iowa was in here. Oh, hey, by the way, Wentek is in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the, so the four is a definitely, definitely a game you, you should buy if you enjoy. 
I've definitely looked at it. I don't. I have. I don't. I'll have to post a picture of my Steam library at some point. I have like five or well, at least three racing games that I probably have a combined ten hours on. I have dirt that I've never even downloaded. I have. It wasn't for free. At some point, they gave it to the team. Yeah, yeah. I have a Project Car. Then I have a Seto. And I just. Come on, Mark. I don't really ever play them. Um, I don't know, I think it was, um, it has a lot of issues with the cars and with some physics and stuff. Uh, he gets a tractor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's paying, uh, the, the ground field. Perfect, perfect. I thought he started a policy, I have a big Steam wish list, and I don't buy anything unless it's 50% or more off. Yeah, yeah, I buy stuff when it's really cheap too, but then I just... I mean, I have Gold Rush, I played that for like... It seemed like an hour probably, I've never touched it again. Um, it's basically GTA, ATS, and uh, FS that are like 99% of my time. FS by a while, more by a long shot. What what is your uh, what is your uh, hours on FS? Uh, I'll tell you in one second. Oh, uh, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, so so the the perfect cars, I think, it has some issues. So I didn't wait. I said to Costa, I think. Uh, so of course, I think it's expensive. I mean, the base game is not, but then you have a lot of DLCs to buy, I'm pretty sure. So I didn't get that either. And the dirt, uh, I never played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to admit it, but Project Cars is really boring unless you're doing VR. I just, um, I don't know. Racing games are interesting. They, they never feel real. Um, the handling, there's something off about the handling. I don't know what it is. Yeah, the, the Forza is good for, uh, for the handling, even with the keyboard. I don't, I didn't, I don't like most of these games because I don't have a wheel. And uh, without the wheel, the, the handling is just terrible on a keyboard. Yeah, yeah. So I have 1200 hours in FS19 and I have almost a thousand in ATS. Oh, I have... In FS22, I have like 1,500, and on ETS, I have like 1,200, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 1,500 on ATS, FS19, 3,314 hours total. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. And that doesn't count modern time either, which is significant. Yeah. At least for me it is. But FS is it's so relaxing and it's pretty easy to just sit here and, you know, like we're doing now, drive back and forth for three hours. Um, whereas other oh, games, it's yeah, so I'm, hard. I would... Oh, go ahead. I'm, like me, I'm deforesting Mother Russia and having fun doing it. Yeah, yeah, I would have a lot more in ATS if they would add more features, but until they add stuff like walk mode and opening the doors and loading trailers and stuff, it's just, it's hard to just drive. Like, I want to do more than drive. Driving customized trucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I like to drive because I see a lot of cool stuff on the map, so I'm like, well, oh, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, I just like to play. And on the topic of the, 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 the racing games, if you, if you want a really good racing game that uh, it's not uh, arcade, I need to buy a, I think a PlayStation and get a Gran Turismo. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, I think I'll figure that out. Yeah, that one is maybe the best one. 
it's because it's like it's simulator but it's not like uh, i racing where it's where it's really tough like this i think it was it's kind of like a house simulation half arcade or something like that yeah yeah, yeah i hear you yeah it's basically really good uh, but uh, i don't have money to buy a playstation so for now i won't, won't be getting it it was, like, it was like Sirius's idea the other day, truck mechanic simulator. <laughs> and I'm like, how about no? I already do that in real life. I play. There's a car. I think it's I don't know if there is a, like, a truck in the game or no. Yeah, I love car mechanic simulator. That's fun. I think I have that one too. I don't think I've ever downloaded it. Picked it up for sale. It's not usually realistic. I mean, you're not, uh, you know, measuring um, wear on camshafts and all that kind of stuff, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah I mean, they play only just like it's a ATS farming thing. Thank you for the love. Up now. For now. Yeah, I would. I would. Now, if it was like, you know, like Mark said, like. Measuring tolerances on camshafts and you know cutting brake lines for like tractor trailers, you know stuff like that. Taking vital measurements like up for alignments, you know stuff like that. I would probably consider it. It would probably get rarely played. Yeah, so yeah. How much I do that in my day-to-day -day life. See, the only reason I would play it is because, you know, I know they don't have a little key thing in there that I like to use for revenge when certain people make me mad, which is called Loctite. <laughs> <laughs> if they Isn't throw that in the game, shoot. Now, here's the thing, though, and this is what I found out from working at the Great Liner Dealer. If you were to do that on a commercial motor vehicle, like a semi, straight truck, dump truck, something like that, that can actually come, if your name is on the paperwork of the last person who maintenance or performed a repair on said vehicle, that can actually get you in trouble. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. I mean, like, court case, fines, possible jail time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because that would be considered vandalism. Vandalism of private property. I think the odometer on this truck broke at uh, only 123 kilometers. Uh-oh. Wouldn't yeah. doubt it. <laughs> Very used. The only new, new thing we have... Well, the two new, new things that we have, I think, are Scorpion and the Bear. And those... I didn't mean to do that. Horse sprayers are, too. Oh, spreaders. Not spreaders, cedars. The corn cedars, those are decently new. Would you act right? But yeah, no, ATS is a decent game, it just... Like yesterday, I was driving through uh, L.A. You know, I mean, it was fun, but it just it was not as fun as it. it it's not interactive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm looking forward to trying that uh, Reforma. Yes, yes. Um, I'll have that. I need to start uploading some stuff. Maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, Reforma. Is it, uh, is it, um, yeah, it's the California rework. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I have that, I have Better Arizona, and I have, um, what's the third one? Oh, Minor Urban Overhaul, all in there. And Minor Urban Overhaul is not fully updated, but it is, it works, and uh, it adds, like, you know, eight-lane highways to L.A. and stuff. It, it's nice, it is fun. I think uh, yeah. for now I just uh, explore the, the default pop and then uh, start adding 
Mobnops is there compatible with Mindios because I have like only two, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 a lot of them now require all of them. Which is kind of a bummer, but oh well. Yeah, no, the promos won't work, but I don't know for the others if they work or not. Yeah, yeah. I know for like pro mods and uh, the Alaska map, yeah, you have to have all of the DLCs. But uh, 20s too, if you take on way and uh, you play on promos with modded trucks, I think this one will be really, really interesting and enjoyable. I would like to do that one one weekend, yeah. Even if you don't have the the interaction as you said, like opening doors and stuff, it's just the the thing that you're driving your uh, truck that you like with the uh, with the stuff you like and with other people and uh, the details on the map because it's a lot uh, it's a lot more than the default map. Oh, definitely, definitely. No, pro mods is incredible. I'm hero truck kick right now, and uh, I have pro mods. I have Rust map, and I have pro mods Middle East, and I have explored three percent of the map. <laughs> nice. It's huge. Uh, yeah, uh, as we speak, I think there is people that can uh, make like uh, six or seven like map combos. So the map is getting like really, really huge. Yeah, it's I incredible. Before, for me, American Truck is all about the trucks. I enjoy driving the machinery. I enjoy configuring them. Euro Truck is all about the locations, the scenery, geography. I love it. Yeah, especially with the new DLCs, they make a good job. I think Thursday I may invest in ETS too. I, th I think that's going to be my next big purchase. It's fun, and I've embraced the automatic transmissions, which almost all of them have over there. And True. it's just yeah. enjoyable to just put it in drive and go. I, I was going to say, Sam, uh... If you're going to invest on the um, DTS, do you plan to play on... Um, the because MP multiplayer or no? Yeah. Oh, okay then. Okay. No, well, because I have uh, one account with uh, almost all DLCs, but it's just a permanent banner from the Lucas MP. So if you don't want to play, I can just give you the account. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you know. Okay, because I don't need it. I have like uh, three accounts with almost all DLCs, so... Yeah, I'll let you know uh, when I do get it. Cause that's something... I mean, the more that I, I read about it, and the more screenshots in ZMUD server that I see, the more that I, I kinda wanna check it out. Yeah, it's a cool game. I enjoy it more than ATS, honestly. <laughs> I think an ATS 2 convoy would be fun. I definitely want to do that. Just like if you can do pro mods. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Once pro mods comes out, um, I'll have to work with you and a couple other people and get a, a list of a couple. We probably don't need as many mods as we have on the ATS side because we're not going to have like company skins and stuff, but just enough to have a few decent things. Get some good sound mods and stuff in Yeah, there. exactly. RJL's oh, yeah, truck, a, probably. Uh, most of... Uh, there are a few sound mods that like, people say are good, but uh, I don't hear them, and uh, there are actually a lot of um, uh, free sounds, but most of them are for Scania. Yes, which is what I'll run, probably. I was gonna say, you're talking about Zmod stuff, aren't you? Uh, Zmod? Yeah, because he has a lot of... Is there the Zmod? His mods are actually really, really cheap. I don't know, I just... I don't buy mods, so just... To, you know, like... The most that I've spent on sound mods from Z mods is like four US dollars. That's 
like forty dollars in my money. Well, you have kids, so yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> I mean, you almost lost FS22 kind of. to Forza. Do you need some uh, liquid, Crown? No, I just... Uh, no, no. Okay. I am full. I reward it. I'll move the truck then. How big around is that tree, JD? But yeah, uh, I can get a few more, actually. It depends, but it depends what looks you're gonna run. Pretty good size. Because uh, there is a lot of uh, tuning cup you can get for the troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have every DLC, I think. Um, but I'll probably just add yeah, yeah. RJL truck. Yeah, RJL yeah, is uh, really nice. And there is, it depends, as I said, to what you want to drive. Because if you want Scania, I have uh, one is the RJL, and there is another mod that adds the. The new ones, the next generation. Oh, okay, okay. And, and basically, with those two mods, you have the best Kanyas you're gonna get. And then you just uh, get a few tuning mods, and you're good to go. You have sound for them, you get some cool triggers, and yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good to go. Are there any good wheel packs for Hero Truck? I find I, I really don't know what wheels trucks use in real life over there. There is an old uh, wheel pack on the Steam Workshop that I've used. There are two good packs. One is the 50 Keller. Yep, yep. And the other one's from, I think it's pronounced Abbas Tepas. His name. He, may, he has also um, um, rims and. Uh, yeah, rims for the uh, Taylors too. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen the 50k one. Yeah, the 50k is uh, maybe the best one because it has also wheels, uh, tires. And uh, I think the, the, the Taylors ones are only rims. There's also that LS wheel pack that has the 3D ones, but those might cause lag, I don't know. Uh, I think. I think they're, they're not very realistic and if we're talking about the same ones, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's been a little while since i played, but I like the old school wheel pack. It looks... I like the Scanius. I'm a big fan of those, and so... Yeah. It, it makes a good look. Oh, yeah. I need to come to the left. It's nice inside and outside also. Uh, I like most of the trucks. Like I don't only like the um, the, the old man that is in the game is really ugly, but everything else I drive. I like the Reno, uh, the no, but the premium one. It's cool, but mostly I drive the uh, Scania. Yeah, same. Yeah, it's a Packer too. It's got the MX-13 engine in it. Oh, interesting. I was gonna say, uh, to me, Scania is the Peterbilt of your... That's just me. Well, I think, uh, if... Uh, I think the Volvo and the Scania are the best tools. All the ones old Scania, I do believe. Mm, I don't I, I think it's Volkswagen, right? Oh, oh. yes, you're right. Yeah, they own that, and I think they own Man, too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Man, Audi, Volkswagen, they're all the same, I think. The new Man TGX is actually becoming one of my favorite trucks. I like it a lot. Yes, I, the thing is that uh, the new Dart and the new Ivy or Ivy, I don't know how you pronounce that, they look kind of the same as the new Scania, it's like a bit of a copy-paste, mm -hmm. but they're still nice, uh, I mean, I like them. Yeah, no, I, we should definitely do that. I don't know when, maybe, 
before we switch over to 22 or something, but definitely once Pro Mods comes out. Um, South, uh, the promo south uh, we, we should try it because I think the I don't know if the original is updated because I think the original uh, the original creator isn't updating the mods anymore. So I think some other people are updating them. But uh, the next generation scanner I think they are already updated to 1.42. Oh, okay, okay, cool. And to wait, uh, wait maybe for the sounds. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 the remote sound deal, yeah, I am hoping that will come sooner than later. Um, right? Yeah, they will come in a few days, I think. Uh, we, uh, we, we come out for uh, traffic, definitely, this will be cool, and yeah. there is some um, traffic density mode that's really good on the workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that cast traffic density mod really is... We're gonna try that for ATS, cause it feels a lot more alive. Some of the big cities in ATS, man, it's just, it's dead. Yeah, I need to say, I still need to add some more to ATS, I'm just uh, still figuring out which one is good, which one is not, and what is. At this point, I pretty much know everything, so if you have questions, let me know. I haven't obviously purchased from everyone, but I've bought a lot of stuff and I found a lot of food stuff too. I'm just gonna use uh, free mods, I don't like the. Yeah, yeah. For the game, for the game I, don't, I, I won't be paying for mods for any game, I just think it's not worth it. No, it's not a bad idea. ATS has, I think, fewer free mods than ETS, though, for some reason. There's like... Did you say I couldn't uh, hear you? About ATS or something, but... I was saying, ATS has fewer uh, free mods than ETS does, it seems. ETS has like 95% free. And ATS is like maybe 50 or less now. Yeah, I guess uh, there are a few reasons. First one is that the ATS come out... Uh, or later. Second one maybe is because it's uh, American and I mean only Americans probably make them. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> probably only American people make uh, most for ATS too. Uh, for, uh, for ATS. Yeah, yeah. And the third one is I think just the, the nature of the Americans I think. Uh, because, they, uh, because most of the the paid mods, the paid mods for FS are also made by Americans. That is true. Oh, so I guess it might be because people just tend to um, sell their stuff. But uh, there's um, not a few uh, mods that are paid for ATS too. I mean, but uh, there are people just uh, paid trading groups on Facebook. And uh, you can get pretty much every mod by trading with oh, other wow. people. So <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah. I was, I, at some point I was trading, so I got a uh, lot of paid mods for free, basically. But then I stopped. It's just not worth it because uh, it's uh, um, every 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 version you need to trade. The mod again and again and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not to mention that the, the, the mods are not made well, so they're like 2 3 million polis, and oh, just yeah, yeah. the game is uh, lagging a lot. Even if you have a good uh, PC, some of the mods have some errors. So, yeah, mm, it's not the best thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What were you saying, Rainy? Most of the most ATS mods are actually made by Australians and Russians. The 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 mods, yeah. You know, John Ruda, he's actually Russian. Yeah. So is uh, CTTM. Okay. Uh, RTA. I'm, yeah, RTA. Actually, isn't he Polish? I thought they were Russian. I don't know. 
think they're a combination of Polish and Russian. That's, uh, that's interesting. And KSW, he's uh, from South America, I believe, if I remember right. Okay. Pink is Brazilian. Yeah. I think Bart is Brazilian, probably. Or I think he's South American. Uh, Ah, okay, interesting. Yeah. And I mean, these guys are, some of these guys, you know, like, uh, Bart, for example. I really like the interaction that I've had with him concerning his works. He, uh, you know, he genuinely stands by. Stuff. He does, yeah. And, and like he'll communicate with you, whether it's through comments, DMs, or even just a DM conversation, or even in a general chat here on Discord. I think that yeah. the reason for paid mods in the U.S. is because SCS. They started out with all the stuff that we liked, like all the classic trucks. Um, and so they did a really poor job on them, and then as they've gotten better, like, they've gotten the stuff that really no one likes as much. So all the people who are doing paid mods, or at least most of them, are doing stuff that SDS would have done themselves, but just kind of messed up. Whereas ETS, like, the ETS default vehicles are, to me, significantly better. Um, I barely need mods in that game other than like Crown was saying sounds and a couple of their small things, but some of their default trucks and some of those trailers are, you know, they're mod quality. Um and free. So, yeah, yeah, but I think it's most of the um, the new ones actually. For example the the old Mercedes or the Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tables, they added the tables uh, recently. Ah, uh, okay. The, 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 the Chrome ones, the Schwarzmüllers, even the... Those don't the mounts. But yeah, I don't know, it's not bad, but I guess. Yeah, like ATS, if I want to have a, a decent looking reefer trailer, I have to have a mod. Like the default one yeah. is just really low quality. Um, yeah, that's why I invested in Bart's. Yeah, exactly. And I love his. Yeah, and it's like the same issue with the livestock trailer. Yep. You really have the best out of them. Honestly, to me, is a tie between Pingas and Bart's. That free one actually was pretty decent. Uh, SCS's or... No, it's, uh, Dylan Macbeth, I think, or something? I don't remember. Oh, Dylan Macbeth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's actually, uh... Huh. I, uh... It actually started out as a leaked mod. Yeah, 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 that's what I heard. It was originally gonna be $15. <laughs> We're really knocking this out, Crown. Yeah, but uh, they split the field in two, so we have um, like 
Yeah. That is true. That is true. <laughs> uh, but it feels like we're making progress. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Here, but yeah, if if ATS, which probably is not gonna happen, but if the SCS went back and did a default a uh, flatbed that was decent with more than like six loads and a default reefer that was decent had the axles in the right spot I think I could get rid of the need for a significant number of of my mods uh, cause I haul a ton of most of my well, a, lot, a significant portion of my hauling is flatbed and reefer um, I don't really do tanker, I don't really do car or hauler, um, and it's just, their versions are just not up to par with what I, I'm used to seeing in the real world. But that's unlikely, so. It's the same with TTS too. The only good tailors are the, the Chrome One and Chrome the Schwarzkopf. Yeah, yeah. The other one that doesn't have bumper, they're not, not good, they're not, they don't seem to be realistic. Only the home players are uh, okay. But uh, the other stuff, uh, no. See, that's one of the bit. Go ahead. But, um, um, we have a lot of, uh, three, three or most which are, uh, which are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's one of the benefits I think of ETS for me is that I don't know what stuff is supposed to look like so if something is okay it's like oh this is a nice truck and it could be completely off but I don't know whereas ATS like the 48 foot reefer like that's the kind of reefer I want to run like in game. And their axles, I don't understand where they put their axles. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and I just, I look at that and I'm like, I can't. It, 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 it pains me to, to drive it. So then I bought Ruta's pack. And Ruta has a proper 48 foot spread. So. Yeah, for me it's the same. I see you taking it. Yes, that's nice. But for you, the axles are wrong. Something else is wrong for me. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. You also don't want to get me started on ATS, or excuse me, SCS stuff versus the mod stuff in that aspect, concerning I'm a diesel mechanic, and I know what, what is what, and the really, to me, the only accurate SCS trailer there is, is the feed, the feed, uh, the feed, uh, Trailer. Really? Even the tanker is bad? It... To me, the hubs look off. Okay. So, it's just to me. The we um, Unpopular opinion, but I think the wheels... The American wheels in ETS are actually better than the American wheels in ATS. Facts. And I think I need to post that in the, uh, the forum. Can you guys please bring the American wheels from ETS over to ATS? Because the ATS default wheels are garbage. They look like a you child know, model. Instead of having to find anything good for any good wheels for ATS. A smarty pack. Yeah, I tried that, but still mm, don't like it that much. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's also a uh, Alcoa pack. Yeah, I need to check that one out. There's a but the other the, 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 ah, the American which one of the American wheels in the ATS2? There's like I thought there were American wheels in, a, in ETS. There's like I think there might be because they look uh, very ugly. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I don't know. See, I don't know because I don't have ETS2, which I really want it. Now that we're really talking about it in depth. So Thursday, I think I'm going to drop the money and get ETS2 and start a new addiction. Or help me. And there's 
There's no hope for you. <laughs> There's uh, never been hope for you. Yeah, I'm not lying there. If you don't, um, don't, um, if you're not a rush, in a rush to buy a DLC, um, the, the, the base game is very often on a um, sale. So you can get that for a for a euro or something. It's very cheap, but I don't know when it will be next time that's on sale. Winter, probably, right? No, no, no it's not. I mean, when they put it on sale, uh, open, um, I would say so, yeah. I, that, if if I were you, just a word of advice, I would not buy it now. I would wait till the holiday sale, and then you can probably get all the DLCs and um, like everything together and not not pay that much. Checking me. I mean, I guess I guess I could go that route. Of course, now, oh James, crush freaking map. Because you do, you want all the DLCs, the, the map DLCs, because you have to have them for pro mods. And because they are really nice, because the, the base map, it's very old, and it doesn't look good. Exactly, yeah. So I would wait, so, and then wait for that. There is a big difference between the, the, um, the original map and the, the US DLCs. I mean, the... Uh, we, we are exactly a month to the day away, or less than a month, though, yeah, a day less than a month away from uh, 22 dropping. So I might as well hold off on ETS 2 until after Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I wonder, didn't Steam last year do a Black Friday sale? Yes, they did. I think they're going to again this year. I may catch it on the Black Friday sale. So. Yeah. Uh, as I said, they put it uh, on sale often. Like, not only on uh, like Christmas sale or something. They just put it on sale randomly. Next time, if you happen to see that it's on sale, let me know. Yeah, yeah. But most of the time it's just the game that is uh, very cheap and the DLCs are not that cheap. Yeah, just yeah. Just your wish list and you'll get an email notification when it goes on sale. Exactly, yeah. You can do that too. I mean, I, I did that for Texas, for ATS. Which I doubt we're going to see that until after New Year's at some point. That's what it's looking like, yeah. Probably like March. Even though I really do hope the texture can is way better than uh, coast to coast. Oh, it I will showed, be. It will be. I, I, I showed JD the texture can version that of uh, that's on coast to coast. He and his direct words. It looks just like that trashy in real life. <laughs> Which, he's not lying there. Yeah, coast to coast. I, I'm really glad we got to try it as multiplayer, but I don't think we're going to keep running it anymore. It's, it's so low quality, like, overall, minus a few spots that it just is not enjoyable. Um, I mean, now the West Coast, down there where me and Deer Hunter ran that one night, all the way down to Key West. Yeah, Florida is decent. Florida, Georgia, and all through Tennessee, Kentucky. Exactly, yep. And, and the Carolinas, that's perfect. No, I agree. But, but the Midwest is yeah. just horrible. You get from Arkansas to uh, Colorado, Oklahoma, Texas, all the way up to North Dakota, it's trash. Yeah, it's garbage. It's just horrible. I mean, Can Dream is way better than that. I haven't seen Can Dream in a while, but yeah, it's 
it just it needs help and I've tried Midwest expansion but that's not much better um, so I think for our, our convoys we're just gonna focus on the states we have plus Montana and then a few maps that try to help out with the original map um, and like I said reforma you guys for those of you who have not tried reforma you'll be you'll be really impressed um, Interstate 80 between Sacramento and I think it's like Elko or maybe a little, a little farther than that is probably the best stretch of highway in in the game including Wyoming and Colorado like they did such a good job that it's it's hard to drive other places I mean the mountain pass feels like a mountain pass the it just the curves on the highway are nice and smooth not you know how SCS kind of makes them really really choppy um, Yeah, yeah. I mean, SCS has done a decent job on the last couple states, but mountain-wise, like even the quote-unquote rework that they did for um, Northern California, they still left out the biggest hill between Oregon and Northern California. It's a 4,000-foot pass, and it doesn't even exist. So, yeah, they also uh, skipped out on Tehachapi. That's in the south, and they'll probably add that in later, but... I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have Tehachapi right there between Barstow and Bakersfield. Yeah. You know, and when I moved back from California back here to Texas, I almost died on that mountain. Like, oh, really? Coming down, coming down uh, the 99 from... Bakersfield to Barstow to connect to 40. It had actually snowed in the middle of June on Tehachapi. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a fun trip. I mean, I didn't mind the stretch of 40 once I got into coming out of New Mexico into Texas to Amarillo because when they say that that stretch is 80 miles an hour they ain't kidding um, New Mexico of all the SCS states is probably my favorite um, I-40 has some of the best truck stops in the game and just I don't know it's really well done Yeah, yeah. Because that one, yeah. it has, I actually visited the, the real life truck stop that's there in Klein Corners. That's one of the largest that's still owned by the original owner's family from the 70s. Oh, wow. And I stopped there, me and my wife stopped there on our way out to California and ate breakfast there. And, oh my God. <laughs> nice. it, it was it was worth the uh, it was worth the thirty dollars that I spent between me and you know just on me and my wife's breakfast. Some of those like the original truck stops have really good food. Oh, um. and it's also like there's one in a uh, Gurdon, Arkansas, called South Fork Truck Stop in Gurdon. Oh, oh, the grits are amazing. <laughs> JD, if you're looking for something to do, there's an extra sprayer if you want it. We can use the help. I wasn't looking for something to do. Oh, okay, no He's problem. He's messing with me. No, I got what I wanted. <laughs> Fair enough. My local truck stop. Yeah, of me doing some antics. <laughs> 
not my just you, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> my local truck stop has, uh, I think they still call it the trucker's poutine. So it's a full plate of poutine. So fries, cheese curds, gravy. Okay. But then add into that ground beef all through it. And it's it's a heart attack on a plate, but it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Sounds like I need to uh, pay a visit up there where you're at. Even though I already had a had a, a plan to uh, go hang out with Joe up in Canada. Where is Joe, by the way? That's what I'm wondering. He hasn't said anything in any of the chats the last few days. Sure hope he's okay. Normally, he'd be hanging out here giving me and JD all the time. That's weird. One thing I like about eating at the truck stop is whatever you're feeling, you can get it pretty well any time of the day. Like, if you want a full breakfast at 10 p.m., go for it. Ooh, the hangover special. I love it. I like breakfast food, it really is good. You know, I, I, would, I would love to see one of these 24 hour restaurants, you know, like Denny's or, you know, IHOP or even Waffle House, to literally put on their menu the freaking hangover special. Oh, from the movie. Uh, what in the world was that? That was me. <laughs> All I saw was a green flash just <laughs> flash by my screen, and I'm like, what? Damn. <laughs> Y'all have some log trucks loaded? <laughs> we got, uh... I'm just doing a delivery right now. Okay. Whoa, I just noticed we're up to 141,000. Hey, we're up to 141,000. Nice. Hey, serious. do you know if uh, mapping is going to change significantly for FS22? I have not heard it will. Um, in fact, I've heard that the games are so similar that converting vehicles might be as easy as like probably shaders and you know, a couple XML changes. So I don't know, I but think, yeah, I think it will be that because in one of the streams, the guy that's making the machines said that there won't be a auto convert function for the giant editor because uh, everything will be very similar. About mapping, uh, about mapping, the textures are some, some of the textures are changed. That is a very and, good point, yes. And I don't know that uh, the thing with the, where the, 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 the objects will be not rendered. I don't know that if that will need to be done by models. Or no, or if it will be done by the the game automatically. What I'm gonna try to do, um, or at least I'm thinking about or considering, is doing some kind of. I kind of want to do this with Can Farm, make a, a map version that is basically reusing the default assets, because I already have a lot of them, but even more. Um, but. I might do something similar with uh, the default FS22 map. We'll see. I, I yeah, but I think it's uh, basically most of it is the same. There was a topic on uh, the Giants forum about the the mapping. So I think it was only textures mainly. And I'm. I think you need to add 
uh, snow moss and some other stuff for the seasons. That is, yes, exactly, yeah. It'll, there'll be some changes, but it looks more like a update of the existing game, which... an update. Yeah, yeah. It kind of is a bummer we have to pay for an update, but the update looks like it's going to be worth it. Um, I'm curious as to the uh, physics dynamics. I think they have not changed, sadly. The tractor, that 7810 in that video looked significantly heavier than stuff in FS19. Like it bounced and kind of swayed a little bit. Um, he was struggling to go up hills. I, I think. I think a leaked video, videos, and in there, there was like um, what was like in the in the um, hold on, we have it here. Yeah, in the small tractors, the the paint factory, five thousand. It was pulling like uh, I don't know. 12, 13, or even more um, meters uh, cultivator. Oh no. Yeah. And that guy was even showing how he was uh, cultivating a few with it. So it might be just like uh, here, where the horse powers and the other stuff doesn't really matter and the machine still can be pulled. If, it, if that is the case, I am definitely going to make a video. Um, I don't know, I, I, he was, uh, the, he, it was attached to that tractor, right? I'm not sure if he was actually using it to cultivate the field because he was using, um, I think that John Deere mentioned, with some small uh, cultivator, I think. Okay, okay. But, but then it's not spent with the, the big, like, maybe even more than 30 meters long. And he was touched to that small fence. So I don't know, hopefully it, it won't be the same, but we will see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I watched most of the serious videos about the FS19. You mean one of my videos? Yeah, the, the live stream that you did in December concerning giants and some of the hypocrisies that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one actually did really well. Actually, and what I was surprised about was they actually listened after you said something about it. It seems that they have, yeah, in some areas. I'm gonna get some more fertilizer. Uh, do we have any at the farm, or do I need to go all the way back to the store? I think you need to go back to the store. Okay. Well, we got plenty of money for fertilizer. Uh, the, the tank is empty? Yes. I think uh, we don't have anything more. Well, we're not short on cash right at the moment, so... Yeah, they're only like, I think they're 2,000. Oh, well, no, no, they're, I think, 3,000 in cash. Or uh, 2,000 in liters, I think. Yeah, yeah, they're not too bad. We need to finish that field. We need to make uh, to to do eight. We need to do five, and possibly we, we might do the that field one more time. Okay. That's it. We might be able to finish that tonight. We'll see. I can be on for a little longer. 
or probably a little bit longer actually. Yeah, uh, the, the, the they thought you were gonna finish the 16 one because it's not that big. Possibly we can go to 8 then. It's yeah, 8 is very small. About the, the, the giants and what they listen, I don't know, I mean, they listen about some stuff, but uh, I don't know, we will see, because they said that the uh, ambassador program is actually for FS22, and for FS19 they basically did nothing, so that will be interesting. I think there will be some changes about the the mod hub mods and uh, the rule setting. Hopefully, because, yeah. Yeah, because uh, actually there's some um, stuff that most of the modders doesn't know, don't know, because there was this um recently there was um the thing um a dope. Released. Basically, the the, the 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 default one just added colors and beacons, and uh, I just pointed out that this mod shouldn't be on mod hub because it's just edit of the basic edit. Yeah, of, uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, they will, I think there is guy that in the um, I don't know if it's if it's part of giants or just. Um, like it's uh, for the community to work some, I'm not really sure what it is, but he said that uh, sometimes giants like make deals with modders, so the modders can even release a mod on mod hub without getting paid if the mod is not good or something like that. But actually most of the modders don't know that. Interesting. Yeah. I used to... That's how... Uh, oh, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. I'll wait until after the stream for what I was gonna say. Because uh, the... That... Um, the problem with the, the... I don't know what was the name of the mother, but... The John Deere combines the old ones. That uh, the, the guy tried to, to put on Moodhub and they just told him that they're not... Uh, they don't need the quality. Okay. Yeah, but I think they were decent, and I think he could have made some sort of deal, but they didn't offer a deal. I don't know. It's it's strange. Definitely strange. That was tired. How they do it? Yeah, yeah. I think tired, tired, tired. I don't know. I think it was tired iron. Yeah. yeah. With all JD combines. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember those. Yeah, it was and, hard iron. And uh, the, the other thing is that I, there is a uh, the, the, very similar model released on Mod Hub by a Brazilian model. Yeah. So I don't know if that's also uh, has to do something, but almost. And, I mean, the Brazilian mods are getting. Uh, I mean, basically everything that's Brazilian is accepted, got accepted. And none of it's very good either. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, some of the, the, the mods are really bad. Yeah, they got errors and no issues and stuff. And there's pointless stuff too. Yeah, they added a lot of the, those uh, like kind of cars, buggies or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I mean, Which basically. I I, I get like utility vehicles like side by sides and four wheelers. I mean, those can actually be used on a farm. You know, every, for you know for everyday use. But I mean, dirt bikes and hoverboards and boats. To me, that's just pointless. Yeah, there are few. Um, scooters, I think. Well, I mean, now, for the whole chicken-egg farming aspect, you know, for, like, a small, you know, 1x Euro map, I, I can see that. 
you know, for a extremely small farm, but for something like an operation like the Williams Brothers up in Montana or uh, around here, it's the uh, Varner Brothers, you know, or even say the Brosica Ranch, that wouldn't just, wouldn't be feasible as a, as a utility vehicle. I used to see Mod Hub as like the best of the best mods, and now it's just become like another mod site that doesn't have ads. Yes, yeah. exactly the same thing for me. Exactly the same thing for me, and I told it a lot of times that I think half of the mods on that released on Mod Hub shouldn't be there because the Mod Hub should be the the place where the best mods are yeah, exactly. published. Like stuff that yeah. you cannot, there's nothing of comparable quality easily available. Like some of the pickup trucks that have been released on the Mod Hub, I mean they're okay, but they're lizard versions of Ford, they don't really have that many options. It's like, this is you nothing know, special. Right. I am looking forward to the Mac edition. Because if they, if, you know, they're doing this with Mac trucks, I wonder how Volvo is going to fit in because they're the same company. It'll be interesting. On, on the Mac or the Isabel Posit? Mac is owned by Volvo. Volvo owns Mac. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So I'm wondering cool. where Volvo is going to play into this. Because they make severe duty trucks for the same applications like logging and farming. Because I yeah, it will be interesting to see if if the if uh, Jens will have the license for Volvo too. Because Volvo makes a lot of trucks, as you said. They also make uh, wheel also loaders, make, yeah, wheel loaders, excavators, equipment, you know, lo or logging equipment. Yeah, I find it strange though that they're putting in the old Superliner. Like usually these companies want to have their newest and best stuff, but here Max just giving them this old truck. Yeah, but they also have the newest one. Yeah, the rumor has it. Rumor has it the Anthem, the Rawhide, and the Pinnacle are also going to be coming. Oh really? The, uh, oh. The, 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 the the first one, it's already confirmed. You can even get it by pre-ordering the game or something like that. It was uh, some sort of black uh, edition of the Anthem. Yeah, I heard that the Black Anthem, um, and it, of course everybody thought that was the Mac Anthem, but then I heard it wasn't, so I don't know. No, no, in case it is, there's uh, pictures, at least, of it in the game. So, yeah. I guess yeah. it is. Supposedly the pinnacle, and I, you know, I've heard this is a great find. So I don't know how accurate this is, but supposedly the Pinnacle and the Rawhide are going to be joining the Superliner and the M. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, give me a Pinnacle and I'll run it all day. Give me a Rawhide, a Superliner, an Anthem. You know, they're edging towards getting these license agreements. You know, just like AT, you know, SCS did. You know, I mean, now, you know, back to the whole modders bringing brands into the game, you know, like Custom did with Demco. There's going to be a whole Demco lineup in 22. Yeah, they, they, they improved the, the license a lot for right this way, too. Like, and Kinsey. That is so long in coming. A proper I mean, American planner. I can't wait for that. You know, but I'm curious, you know, and they already have CNH in the bag, obviously. I would love to see Packard, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, I'd love to see Freightliner. Yeah. You know, Freightliner, you know, the J. Mueller Corporation owns Freightliner and Western Star. Yeah, exactly. I know this because, of course, obviously, I deal with them on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 
so, you know, I would love to see an agreement with Daniel. Because then, you know, Daniel owns Dodge. You know, if they get that. Not anymore. It's VR, yeah. right now? Dodge is on the Fiat now? Yep, yep. Fiat Chrysler. FCA. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's why they have uh, those uh, RAM that actually Fiat Mans. Yep, yep. So wait a minute. That means that Chrysler no longer owns Mercedes, doesn't it? They never did. They merged apparently, but... I think Daimler owns Mercedes, right? Or Mer that's their parent company. Yeah, for a while it was Daimler Chrysler. They merged and they called it a merger of equals, but really it was Daimler owning Chrysler. Yeah, yeah. Now then, I'm curious as to where Mercedes came to the play. Daimler is Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes can, I don't know, I don't know if they know this big, big, big brand so like to get uh, in FS. Because Mercedes actually can provide a few stuff like the middle track and the only mark at least, those two, definitely could be used. Now, but, what I'm curious about, really? What, what, no, I don't mean to cut anyone off, but what happened to the agreement with Deer? I haven't seen any fact sheet Fridays about any of that in the I, I think, was it the... The 7810, the uh, S79... No, X9. I think the X9 is confirmed already. Are we talking about the Georgia? Yeah, yeah. I think isn't the X9 already confirmed for 22? I freaking kidding. No, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But the, 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 the newest uh, tractor is confirmed. Yes, the 9RX. No, no. I, let me check the the uh, I think I need to go through. Uh, I think I need to go through our announcements channel for, for the... Yeah, there is, there is confirmed for sure. Is this it? Wait, let, 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 give me a second to hear exactly what's... Oh, crap, there it is. How did it confirm? It was so, over your head. It's seven here. The seven year series is confirmed. Okay. The newest one. Uh, for uh, okay. the moment. So the 2021 seven R's. The one yeah, that's from the kid. From the, yeah, the T thing. And there's a teaser of the, um, what do you call it? Soundguard. Oh, possibly 422. I, w I, w now I wonder if they're going to use, for the case Steiger, if they're going to use Carl Farms AFS Connect. And they're like, uh, up, it, um, so they're like, uh, for Kinsey machines. Those seeders and two cultivators. But, uh, it shows that this will be everything for now. In, in... Oh, it turned really there. I was about to say, didn't, uh, Kinsey have auger wagons in? 19 and duh. As soon as you enter the shop, there's a Kenzie uh, Kenzie Chaser bin right there. Yeah. Uh, I, I just went full, full stupid, full blown stupid just now. Like. It will be interesting if they will remove some of the machines from FS19. I don't know why would they do, they do it, but I don't know. But, like, what's been said, you know, like, what's already been said about the converting stuff, if it's just, you know, vehicle shaders and texture, or, you know, the, you 
know, the vehicle shaders and the seasons masks and all that. And, you know, the XML work. I'm pretty sure even I could even do most of my favorite mods and convert them to 22. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, there should be no shortage of mods, um, given how much stuff we have for for 19. Because I know already every just about every modder on Facebook is talking. Well, I'll release one or two more mods for 19, and then I'll start learning how to do 22. When supposedly custom modding has already jumped on that bandwagon. Has Giant supposedly given them an early copy? No, no, no they, they just, just made, made the models, not Tinkers. Ah, okay. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. No, they don't do that. I mean, the, the, the early copies will be given to, the, to some of the YouTubers. See, here's, what, what, I'm, here's what, where I'm, I'm coming at, is... The reason for the land all because they're gunning for 19 22 ats and ets2 and on multiple platforms for the land ball you're not funny mark so that's for that land all low boy that's where i'm 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 thinking that there may have already you know with some of these big modding groups, such as Custom. No, no, no. no. That's where I go. I'm iffy about that. Giant should give them an early copy, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, actually, Giant should be giving um, at least more information if not the copy. Yeah, yeah. At least more information about modding to the modders. But they don't do that. They just give, uh, I think, one week before or something like that. They give the really copy to the um, to some of the biggest YouTubers. It's because they're not done yet. Yeah, yeah. And the YouTubers that they pick are always like they don't have any criticism whatsoever. So any changes that should be made are not going to be suggested. I mean, now I do see, I do see FS Club definitely. Because they are, FS Club is definitely affiliated because one of the uh, regular hosts for FS Club is a part of that ambassador program. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna see how that will turn out with those ambassadors. Uh... Was it, it was ER modding uh, who did Oklahoma, wasn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Thought it was um. Is it the guy who did somewhere in Canada? I don't remember. But I did see that somebody is doing a uh, Red River clean map. I think it is DR. I'm looking forward to that because apparently it was submitted to my network today so there's a chance that maybe that Red River Valley map may end up being released tomorrow or Monday that would be cool because I, 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 I like the maps like that you know like the Oklahoma 4X. You know, that one... Cool. Cool. Yeah, my word. Okay, I'm back at the field. Okay, I need to refill. I like the... 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 Which one it was? The, the county? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good map. Yeah, it's not that one. And the other one is the... Which one is, what was it? Yeah, Seneca County, I think it was yeah, not Seneca that County. bad. 
everyone started uh, same game on it. And the other one was maybe the Midwest Horizon. But yeah. the thing there is that uh, the map is big, but it doesn't have any towns, villages, or whatever, and it's just not. Uh, I, don't know, I just uh, don't like it because of that. The marathon that you're talking about. That was a uh, Rory Kane special. No, the, no, the, no. The, Midwest the, Horizon. The Midwest Horizon map. I thought Midwest Horizons was completed. But I don't think it has a town. It doesn't keep a town here. Towns are pretty rare, actually, in American maps. That's why I can farm. I wanted to have one. Yeah, it's a bit rare, it's rare, but I think they should add their pattern. I mean, like on this map, if, we, if they got rid of the town, I mean, it would take away from the from the ride. So. Well, like I said earlier, marathon. It, it has to. I mean, the, the thing uh, this here is, I think, makes. Uh, I mean, uh, exactly for, from the real location. Yes, and, it um, is. And the, the down that's. There, I don't know which one it is, but the village is here. The village is almost going to the, the home map, which is really cool. And um, also the other map I, I liked in FS 17 was the home uh, uh, the Mississippi River or whatever it was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that was a good one. Hey, you remember, you remember, yeah, yeah. FS 19. They improved some things in the town, I think they added traffic and such, but uh, they removed the farms. And that's See, something that I don't like. The version, of, the version of UMRV has the town and the farms. Yeah, yeah, it has the town, it has a uh, big town actually, I think. It, it looks yeah, it really does. cool. It I does. like having a town, but honestly, with a lot of the American maps, really, if you go for a drive through rural America, you're looking at, you know, a 20, 30 minute drive to get to a town. So it's pretty realistic. I would rather, personal opinion, I'd rather have, I'd rather see a lot more 16x maps where the farmable land does not take up the whole map. Like this map, you can work the whole map, but I'd prefer to have like a map where the town's on one end, you have some roads and some just kind of scenery, and then a farm like somewhere. Because every piece of land is not ownable. Um, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Well, and, you know, the thing that I like about Oklahoma, at the, you know, the Oklahoma map is you have a choice of where you're Headquarter farm is where you know, where your house is. You know the only thing that I don't you know that I find a bummer is it doesn't have a farmhouse. That's the only thing. I mean, yeah, I use the EMR farmhouse for everything, every save game, just about if I can. You know, for stuff like that. For that's what really killed me with the uh, Italia map. Amazing quality, beautiful terrain, and then in the middle of it, there's this big farmyard, beautiful place with a swimming pool and like lawn bowling and all that stuff, and no house. It's like, what? I don't want all that. Yeah, and it just sounds like that was incomplete. Isn't, uh, isn't there like a. I mean, there is a swimming pool, so isn't there a house, actually? Maybe they've updated it, but there wasn't when I tried it. Oh, okay. No, I, I don't, no they didn't. Uh, even if it's updated, they didn't add anything new to the existing pop. The, the pro version and the other versions are just... Uh, they are just adding more uh, land plant. Now, I will say the worst 16x I've ever played. And I very rarely... Only unless I get into those eight, those uh, construction type moves and mining. The one 16x that just irritates me to no end. And 
breaks my heart because of what happened. Like I said earlier, it was Marathon County. It has potential, even at this point. It's just not finished, yeah. You know, and because it, somebody just had to share it, and so now we're stuck with with that. Now, I I do. You know, I know everybody has issues with form law. Uh, you know, I, I do. Uh, the, who, who was that? Uh, for am, am I right? Yep, yep, he's a guy I've known for a while. He's he's an interesting character. I mean, Rory, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, he's a uh, asshole. He has his good days. He has his good days. He has his bad days. Just like me, you know, I, I can be, you know, pardon my French, I didn't mean that. But anyway, you know, everyone has their good days, everyone has their bad days. Uh, you know, people show it more. You know, I was in here, it was actually a couple days after I joined, when everything went down with him, when he lost it. Yeah, um, yeah. Jackson was an interesting guy. You know, I, I hate that, you know, everything went down the way that it did the other, even though I missed it because I was at work. And I probably should be glad that I did. But anyway, you know, the work that, you know, Rory's done lately, it's been pretty good. Oh, without a doubt. He does very high quality work. It's just, it's kind of unpredictable. You don't know which side of him you're going to get from day to day. I mean, he booted me out of his own group. Yeah, I saw that. He's like, well, I can't trust anybody. It's like, okay, well, I mean, you know, did I do anything? No, no, I just don't. Okay. I mean, just, yeah, it's, it's tough. As so far as 16 egg maps go, personal opinion, Aside from this one, which is the best I think I've played on this length, um, Able Farms had one, was a private one that he gave me a while ago, and it was pretty solid. And Corn Belt, I think Corn Belt with some work could be a really good map. Um, the problem with Corn Belt is that it's, it's that kind of fake American deal that you get kind of on Ravenport where they try to make everything brown and palm trees and all this weird stuff and it starts to feel really like really strange to me Ravenport feels like Giants Island yeah feels like Giants what? Giants Island it was a map from FS09 yeah the, the best show. map ever and it actually did get converted to 2019 yeah. The in-game mod hub. Yeah, and there's actually multiple versions. Yeah. I think there are actually two versions of mod hub and I think maybe at least one more released on some websites. But okay. yeah, that, that, that map was one of the best maps uh, Giants ever did. For me, yeah. for me at least. It was, it was a base, I mean, granted, yeah, it was a base game map. But it wasn't as broached as Ravenport was. You know, I'm really yeah. looking forward to trying this East Coast one by CCS. I've been seeing uh, pictures of that floating around too. You know, it's like me with Autumn Oaks. Autumn Oaks, you know, I love it. The Dinez Farms Map Improvement Project, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Map Enhancement Project. You know, Tyson did a phenomenal job on it. It's I a cool map, it. but it intimidates the crap out of me. I don't know how to work a dairy farm. You know, I, I, 
I had a lot of experience on Mercer, on Mercer County, and that was one of my favorite maps too. So, you know, I look forward to seeing what his next move with 22 coming out is going to be. And I admit he and I had differences. He had issues with some of the stuff that Just for, you know, farm sim drama. You know, I admit, it's definitely down. Things got said. It was Who is me. this? I'm sorry, I was half paying attention. It was me and you know, it was ex exchange between me and Tyson. It's, oh, okay, yeah. You know, I. You know, he was a good friend and. I don't understand why the game has so much of it, but yeah, it's it's frustrating. I mean, RuneScape back in the early days, and Halo, when it first went on Xbox Live, had just as much drama. And that's when the Your Mom jokes got popular. Yeah, even like in my group, I'm with the people that were kicked out or banned or whatever, I mean... That was most of the people talking, and yet now, like, there's no arguments. Like, no one left that talks argues. People are just posting their pictures and whatever, but the people that were the chattiest, man, they always had an opinion about something, always trying to belittle somebody or second-guess somebody, or, you know, just... It got frustrating. That's kind of why I, I blew up myself. It's just like, you know, this is ridiculous. Like, behave a little bit, you know, either. Well, we're grown men at this point, you know. We gotta do better than this. The farming community or the other one? Yeah, the farming community, it's just, it's just weird. Yeah. I mean, a lot of grown people just act like 10 years old. Exactly, for yeah. No reason, for, yeah. No, for no reason. And that's why I stepped away. It was for... I went to a different community for a while, and that was ATS. And, you know, honestly, ATS is just as toxic. Not as yeah, toxic as ATS, this. but AT, the ATS community can be. Because you have crooked VT seats, you have mod traders, you know, and, yeah, there's, I've, I've seen a lot of screenshots of, you know, flooding around from Discord to Discord on the ATS side about people wanting to trade mods for paid mods. Yeah, that's exactly paid what people do. Another payware mod. And I'm like, why? I don't know, it's, I think it's just because people don't want to pay for a mod and they just try, okay, we're gonna trade. It's, it's a bit similar to the farming uh, mod trading, but it, there it's, it's not like... Hey, is, you know, it, it would be like, you know, and this is, you know, it'd be like trying to trade a John Rear truck for a laser. For well, what? The whole mod trading thing, you know, like, you know, say for instance, I wanted to trade for Rolling 389 with Colton's Black Glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that'd be like trading a lizard for, you know, uh, NDMM's Terrigator. The, the problem I have with most ATS paid mods is that the people who are selling them, in addition to pricing them at just outrageous prices, um, is they didn't make some of the stuff. 
like the uh, the Dom 389 uh, 379 I think is my one of my best examples like that was a that not was that is a free truck it's still available on the Steam Workshop someone comes along is like I'm gonna make some edits to it and that's great and then he starts selling it for forty dollars it's like well, what happened to the original mod creator like is he getting paid I'm assuming not what happened to the person who made the model because that model was free you know all those people along the line that contributed are just kind of and that's and they're not getting a cent and that's kind of what I have the problem with with the Roland deal I mean the price is is outrageous yeah. but that truck is or at least when it first was released like almost every interior part of note was part of a free pack that's still on the steam workshop and so my thought process is okay so if I want a updated version of what is one of the better free mod packs I gotta pay five times the price of the game like that doesn't make any sense um, and so I think that's where you get all this belly aching and fighting and stuff is like if if the Roland 389 was $25, he would have probably sold more than he sold now. But he's made it into this kind of almost cult-like community where everyone has to be, you know, a perfect little kid. And then they wonder why people get angry and there's all this yelling. And, you know, I, people, you, you talk to people about it, you explain to them that some of the parts are free parts and they tell you that you don't have enough money to buy it. It's like, I, help, I own a car. I can afford stuff. I don't want it. Like it's not <laughs> the value it, it, is, it is being sold for is not the value I see. So that that's the problem I have. I mean, Pinga and Ruda and Bart and some of the other guys that are more down to earth. Like they're selling stuff, and we can debate that concept itself. But they're selling it for a reasonable price. Like a twenty-five dollar yeah. truck is you know, that's okay. A hundred dollar truck that's outrageous. Like, that, that's just my opinion. I don't know. Some people say it's the greatest truck ever, so, you know, more power to them. Yeah, and like I, like I always say, you know, I'll, I'll see questions about Bart come up quite a bit on Facebook. And, you know, I straight up tell them. I say everything that Bart has on his website is worth every penny. Because, and I don't say that because of the mod itself. I say that because of A, the quality, B, the communication level between the modder and the customer is there. You know, same for Sartana. Same for, you know, John Ruda. You know, these guys, they will actually take the time out of what they're doing. And if you have an issue or there is an issue with the mod that they released, They'll help you either A, with it, or walk you through it. Oh no, I agree. And But they're kind of the exception. I mean, you have drill modding, for example, and I'm signed up to his patron. But the guy was one of the best free modders in the community, and then one day he decided, hey, I'm going to be a paid modder. And so anyone who owned his stuff in-game is like, well, I guess I can't use it anymore because I have to pay for an update. And a lot of people, you know, are very frustrated. Because at this point right now, we don't have any free reefers. Like there is not a single decent free reefer available. Um, there's well, one. Honestly, the, cheap, the cheapest two are Ruda's and uh, Ruda. Let's see. There's another one. Uh, is it? Let's see, it's Ruda. Doesn't Pinga have one too? I don't know he does. That. Um, I've never used it. Drill's uh, patron, I think, is only like five dollars a month. It's, I'm, I'm su subscribed yeah. to it, but the point is that why do that? You know, if you want support, tell people, hey, this is a, a hobby that takes time. Like, I would appreciate some support, but don't yeah. punish the community for you know just kind of on a whim. Oh, I, I'm deciding I'm now a paid modder. Like, it, it's frustrating. Oh. And, and, you know, I, I have a prime example, uh, you know, th this particular modder that I'm about to, you know, I'm, I'm going to name, 
you know, he's a cool dude. Love him to death. Uh, Whiskey Sierra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think that it is perfectly acceptable, you know, for an FS modder to have a Patreon. You know, yeah, Giants hates the fact that it's being quote-unquote sold. But, you know, if you're not going to compensate for a popular mod, because, yeah, he's, Wayne's got stuff on the mod, though. you're not going to compensate enough for it, or what you feel is worth compensation for, then I understand the whole Patreon thing. You know, and Patreon exclusive mods, such as the 386. See, the, you know, the problem I have, again, is sourcing. Um, and also, the whiskey has um, paid mods. I don't think so. I think it's only for support. Or the, is it? The, the 386 is a Patreon exclusive. I purchased that model from, uh, I don't remember if it was from CG Trader or... Oh. Uh, I think most of his mods are from ATS2 actually, uh, ATS. Yeah, yeah. 386 isn't. I donated oh, okay. that model to him. Oh, okay. The mastermind behind the Whiskey Sierra 386 wasn't just Wayne. He mentioned in Jeremy Hall's Discord when I was in there before I left, he mentioned to Jeremy that he wanted to six or half ass modding. He mentioned to to him that he wanted to do a three eighty six. Well I happen to have wanting a three eighty six in game. So that's where that came came Ah, uh, okay. That's the story behind the Whiskey Sierra three eighty six. Yeah but when you donate the most you want it to be a pilot mode or what? I actually wanted it to be a Patreon exclusive or a exclusive. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, okay. The, then maybe it makes sense because you deleted the model and you said, okay, I want it to be Patreon yeah. only or whatever. So it kind of makes sense. Stuff I, I didn't care if it was public, you know, if it got released publicly. You know, I don't, you know, I really don't care if it does, but I wanted to see a good 386 in game. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Wayne is good, good, uh, is doing good job with in game and stuff. Uh, I, I, I converted him the first uh, truck he made. I can't remember which one was something from the ATS. Yeah, I don't know, he's, he's cool, I, I mean, he's this yeah, But uh, to, the, to the point of uh, the, the whole thing, with uh, paging and paid mods, I think it's uh, like a shame reaction. Because I think... Hey, Michael. Sure, hey, Miguel. Uh, hey, Miguel. Selling mods is illegal in ATS and uh, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. And then, yeah, and then someone decides, yeah, I'm gonna sell mods, and he starts selling mods. Then people, like, uh, like, uh, yes, yeah, but they can't control it. I think they could. I think they could. The way you control it is you can't go after everyone, you have to take down one person. If you make an example of one person, um, and say, hey, this is we, this is unacceptable. You know, we have license agreements. You cannot resell licensed vehicles to people. And you make it in a public display. I think other people are like, okay, like they're serious. And Giants did this back in FS13 when the Titanium DLC got leaked. I remember that. They shut down mod sites. I mean, they they went whole hog and they they got a lot of people in trouble. And everyone was like, hey, this company is you know. 
They're not playing around. Wasn't that the downfall of FS of uh, FSmods.uk? That I do not know, but I know several mod sites actually were shut down. Oh, um, that's too interesting. Okay, okay, so they okay, so let's say they come, but then uh, starts the, the normal people are like, oh, okay, but uh, it's illegal to sell mods, but people are selling mods. So we're gonna start trading mods, and they start trading mods. Then we have like the, uh, the public mods, and people are like, okay, I'm making public mods, but my mods are getting um, uh, republished yep, with yep. different things and stuff. Yep. And they're like, okay, so I'm gonna start making uh, mods for money too, because obviously nothing happens to the people that make. And yeah, it's, I think it's just like a big chain reaction. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah. And SCS has, I was talking to a, um, one of their moderators a few days ago. SCS basically has opened the door for paid moderators because of, like I was talking about earlier with blatant flaws in, in vehicles. And also, like, the fact that you have to go through this huge process to update a mod every, like, two months. Like, that's just outrageous. You know. There's tons of public mods, but the problem is, is that unless someone is like dedicated to keeping them up to date, it only takes a little bit, and then they're they're basically not um, not useful anymore. Yeah, because the model is so virtual. Yeah, it's you know like 1.40 broke the mirrors for all trucks. Well, there's some good stuff around, but if you don't know how to fix mirrors, it's useless. You know? Uh, Big Bob yeah, I think they actually fixed that by the way. The latest update that they had, so I'll test yeah, yeah, that's the only thing for them that's not so good on the S run beta, so this is that uh, there is a lot of updates and people need to keep updating the was And the best so some people I guess gave up at some point. Exactly. I think that the, that the, the NGO creator gave up on that. I think uh, most of the mods are uh, uh, dated by some other people. It's not dated by him. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like Overflowers K100. The Overflowers K100 still ends up updated, but it's by other people. And then resubmitted to the workshop. Yeah, it's, it, SDS has made, I mean, I'm trying to mod ATS right now a little bit off and on, and they have made a horrible system. Um, it's a great game, but the difficulty in just doing a simple edit, it doesn't make any sense. Like, they need to, re they need to instead of wasting time with, you know, little dinosaurs for your seat after you drive around the state, they need to dedicate some a few hours of dev time to creating a, a tool like Giants Editor um, that everyone can use for free and that has some sort of auto update function at least for basic stuff um, because the, the way you keep a modding community going at least from my perspective is you have to make it easy like FS is so easy to mod that even if every person that mods FS right now were to quit it would only take a few months for new people to show up with some level of skill. Not obviously, you're not going to have a new custom modding pop-up every six months. But you'll have, you know, maybe someone that does a, a basic edit or something or an improvement here or there. Yeah. Whereas ATS, I mean, to even do anything, you got to dedicate like, you know, years of, of, of time and skill to mastering this bizarre system that seems like only they use and it just it really does them a disservice um yeah cause the blender plugin tools that was it's horrible I gave, I gave up honestly I downloaded everything but I gave up trying to find the right paths I got it installed um 
even though I watched Joe, uh, Jeff's videos. Yeah, it just it, it it's ridiculous. Uh, I was last night. I was kind of bored, and it's you know late at night. I'm like, hey, I'll I'll lower the front end of the W990 because I kind of want to build something similar to that chicken little truck. Yeah. Um. So I go in and I open the model up, put the mod up, and I start playing around. And I get the wheel nose moved up, and then I thought I followed the steps. I mean, I was barely paying attention, but if that was FS, something would have happened. I exported it, I, I opened it up again, because you have to, the weird thing is you have to export it, which creates a new file type that for some reason nothing uses, and then you have to go back and convert that file type to what the game can read, which again is, it doesn't make any sense, but oh well. So I do that, and then I try to, to repack it so that I can put it in game. And it throws some huge error and says it cannot explode or something. I'm like, well, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I really don't feel like fighting with this. And so I just set it down. Um, and it just, it's stuff like that that, I don't know. I have tons of ideas as far as stuff I would like to see in APS. Trailers, they're not necessarily trailer models, but like loads. Um, lots of stuff I feel I could, could bring to the game with the limited skills that I have. And just, just getting started is such a, it's such an uphill battle. It's like, is it even worth it, you know? I think it's, uh, it's not optimized, the, the modding. No. Uh, for example, yeah, the, the Blender plugin, I think, the last update is for like uh, 2.82 uh, or something. And yeah. that's it, they don't even update that. I don't know, uh, I'm not really sure if there is like uh, some modding tutorials they can provide or something. I'm not sure. It's just, so, yeah, it's it's very frustrating, and the thing I is... I don't know, they, they get the, the modding community to go and, like, buy its own, and I think for now they're focused a lot of the, on the maps, expansions, and uh, the latest updates, they're focused on, uh, on the, the, the multiplayer mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but we'll see, yeah, it's interesting because at some point, they will run out of maps and they will run out of trucks and that's it will be interesting to see what they will decide to do then hey. because like, for ATS at least but uh, ATS too most of the, the they can't expand much more than that soon the, the DLCs the map DLCs will be I think over because they made almost everything so it will be interesting to see what they will decide to do. Will they uh, leave ETS and uh, just go to the American truck? Or will they find something else to do? Well, it's all like how Farm Sim, you know, there's hundreds of John Deere planners. You look at the base game 389, you look at Rudas, and you look at Pingas, and you look at all these other 389s, they're all based off of the base game model. Not Rudas. Well, I, I take that back, Rudas was not. And I don't think Pingas is either. Um, I don't know where I he got his mark. Uh, the interior might be, but the exterior is different. Um, the, the rolling one is exactly a SCS edit, um, which is another reason why I just kind of shake my head at it. Yeah, but, yeah, it's a kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. But hey, I mean, again, unless SCS actually does something to say this is, this is not what should be done, people will continue to do it, and I mean, hey, you can't really blame them, and the guy can mod, I, I'm not, this, this yeah. Really that. I was gonna say Joel. Joel is awesome. He really is, from what I've seen, his work is pretty good. Yeah. 
I, what, what I want to see for FS but ATS mainly is some features like again driving around like like Crown was saying like the map can only get so big there's got to be more than just I get in my truck or excuse me I'm stuck in my truck and I just drive in an endless loop until I get bored and then I just set the game down you know and people keep adding ideas you know hey we like the walk mode if they add a walk mode, modders will be able to figure out how to add stuff to that. But SPS is always giving some excuse, oh, we can't do that because the map is not designed for it, or oh, this, or that. It's like, test it. Well, they might have a point about that. I yeah, know, maybe they might. Maybe the map is not designed about it. I don't know about the regions and all the stuff, how they are made on the, those... Uh, on the environment, basically. It, it, it might be hard, actually, I don't know, because uh, on some of the FS teams also, just the guys say that it's, 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 uh, it is something is impossible because of various reasons. And yeah, actually, there are various reasons why you can't get, for example, uh, I don't know what it was, for example, uh, Dynamic uh, or, uh, Oh yeah, 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 exactly. They said, yeah, we can't do it because that will take, for example, a lot of time. This will make the, the game very uh, heavy. This will do it that. This will go to that and so on. So yeah, they also maybe have a point saying, yeah, we can't do this at the moment. Or peace at the moment, I don't know. What were you trying because to say, JD? The, because after all, the, the map is not small, so... Yeah. Okay, so... On your point, uh... Curious, uh... You know... If they added to where you could walk... Low, uh... Or in, you know, load the truck yourself... Yeah. If you've got, you know, your own your own trailer. You know, you know Lee, back me up on this. Yeah, it would actually benefit pretty well because I have heard many sources that some trucking industries have actually taken and used ATS as a little help some of their new people coming in. I can imagine it. Yeah. Um, actually, prior to the uh, CTG buyout, uh, Covenant Transport Group buyout, SRT, or Southern Refrigerated Transport, they've got it here in Hester County, uh, SRT was actually using a uh, multi-screen shifter wheel combo setup, dash setup, uh, for, you know, with ATS, for uh, some, some basic traffic driver training without having to get the driver out on to one of the three major roads that uh, run SRT shop. They did that up until the uh, CTG buyout. And that makes sense. And yeah, I just, I think SCS is really selling themselves short just making it only driving. I mean, I would like to load a truck in the game. Like, I enjoy that even in FS a little bit. Like, when you're trying to haul a combine or something. Like, if you could do that in, in, in ATS, I think people would. That would, that's, that's what they would do. They would load trucks. Um, oh. <laughs> so. Yeah, or, or even, you know, with the light, uh, with the logs and animals. Now, logging, that would also depend on the in-game business. 
Even though, yes, I know the in-game physics for FS19 very, very cool. You know, that was... I think you do need to, uh... Take some time, JD, and watch the, uh... A couple of the videos uh, on uh, Sirius's YouTube concerning the issues that Giants has and the overall with FS. And it will definitely make you think. Especially the one. Are you talking about for FS or ATM? For FS. Now, another thing. It's uh, an interesting subject, speaking of it, FS. You know, I do agree that, you know, if they could open, you know, implement the OpenGL, the FS, so, you know, the game engine that uh, SCS uses for ATS and ETS, the performance of the game overall would just go crazy in terms of playability. You know, right now, due to a poor game optimization, my poor PC is running anywhere from 160 to 170 degrees. That ain't no good. Well, FS22 is supposed to run a lot better. Hopefully, the game engine is better, and it actually runs off with two cores. That would you be know, nice. You know, my thing is, is you know, I, I understand, you know, pumping out a new, uh, better version of your game. Okay. I understand that. Because eventually, at some point in time, you know, the gamer, okay, is eventually going to get tired of the said game. But, you know, in the time frame that the game is out, Like for instance, FS. I feel for the time frame that FS19 has been out, it is too short to put out another game. I agree. Build up your game. I understand you don't gotta pump something out. That's no big deal. You can have that going out and the going on in the background, but Continue bettering your game, your current game that you have out before you, before you launch, before you're like, okay, got no more ideas. The problem with Giants is that, oh sorry, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. You know, the thing of it is, you know, yes, eventually you'll run out of ideas with the game. Once you run out of ideas, then you bring that one in, roll it again. Go ahead, Jay. The problem with Giants, and the reason why they pump out games so often, is they have no ideas. Like, most of the stuff that we're using now, someone came up with for free on their own time, including logging. Um, and so, they kind of have no choice what, what, what they should do, in my opinion, is fire a lot of the people that they have currently working for them. Because obviously, if random people just working for free are coming up with better ideas than your dev team, like, it's time to get a new dev team. But, hire some of these people in the community. You know, Thunder, for example. The guy comes up with a script that we used on the last save that allows us to swath. Like, swathing is a huge deal. Oh, 
in, yeah, I remember that. in Canada, it's a huge deal, and I think they do it in Russia, they do it all over the world. Well, and, I, well I actually follow um, this girl, she's horse in her early 20s, her name's Kate Ag, and they actually, she's from Montana. And they actually just swath winter wheat. Yeah. Or earlier this year, swath wheat. You know, that's cool. And Thunder came up with that, and we could swath wheat on this map if we wanted to. I don't want to. I think we swathed enough. But the point is, the guy is doing it for free on his own time. Whereas, if you look at what the Giants devs have come up with, I and mean, what have they come up with? They came up with, um. The FS League, which I don't think anyone cares about. Um, I don't know. That, that's kind of an overseas kind of thing. Yeah. I think most of the stuff are uh, just for money. They just do it for money. Yes, agreed. They, they get uh, new games for money. I think the League is also for money because I think they, they get money from the League, pretty sure. Everything is just for money from Giants, which is up. Yeah, to me the FS League is just... But it took dev time is my point. Like, yeah, and they, they think... I don't know. I also will say that I don't think anyone care about the FS League. Like, especially when it's not something that I am... Uh, really good, and it's not something that's changing. I mean... Hey Ruby, how you, do, how you doing tonight? Uh, just a couple of us sitting here. Uh, I think it's like at least a year now. In depth conversation. And right now, so the, the map is the same, the machines are the same, the task is exactly the same. Exactly. And, he is, and it's not like something very hard, like harvest a field and to do some bailing. Like, no, it's not hard. And it's not. Something oh. You know, I get where I, I get where some people say that the base game mods are enough because you know you you got these the, you know for instance the rapid invader style it does the same thing the same thing as LBJ's John Deere. Yeah, John Deere box field that LBJ released. It does the same thing. You know, just like how LR's momentum is the same thing as that horse. They all have the same to me. The base game mods in ATS, yeah, they're there. Do I ever use them? On occasion, I'll do. I'll oh. even use one or two of the DLC mod. Just to fix the but what do you mean by um, base game mods? Like, I mean, literally, the base game equipment. Oh, everything okay. that's already in game. Yeah. Before you even click a download link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. The basics. The scripts are the same. The scripts are the same. You know, or at least the basic, uh, the basic usage of the scripts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are identical. Yeah, I don't know. I just I, that's where I, that's where I see Giant um, kind of forcing themselves to come up with something new every two years because it's like, well, we milked that cow dry, so on to the next one. Yeah. Um, Where uh, when Netflix hires somebody.
by the end of the time, you know, they're like, hey, one, of the, one of the things we encourage, you know, our employees to do is to take vacations. Take as many vacations as you want. And I, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. The reason they do that is because people tend to come up with more ideas and, you know, more things that they can put out uh, for, like, say, a new show or a new movie on vacation or whatever, then they will be sitting in a chair staring at a screen for eight hours a day. And I thought that was really cool. And, you know, I, I really think that, you know, Giants and, you know, ATS, uh, SCS, should probably implement something like that into their policy. Because that's what Netflix's policy is. That's something. Another thing they need to do, both companies, is hire some people that actually do it for a living and have them explain what they do for a living. Because I think one of the biggest issues with both companies is that it's a bunch of geeks in a room. They're like, hey, I like trucks. I like trucks too. We should make a truck game. These guys have never driven a truck. They've never backed a truck into a dock. They've never loaded a truck. Like they know almost nothing. And yet they're making a simulator, whereas, like, if you play, like, the racing games we were talking about earlier, like, I assume the people who have some influence over those racing games, like, have some connection to racing themselves. Like, actual racing. And... Uh, or in, in NASCAR. Exactly. Okay. I'm, I know, I'm pretty sure none of y'all are big on NASCAR, except, you know, my brother. I, I've heard of it, obviously. I don't really follow it very well. Or... But, you know... I'll be right back, one second. The same thing that uh, CSC, that, that uh, the people, the people that work in these companies should actually know about farming, about working, because those people, I think, especially in giants, they don't know anything, and they just wait on the, the models to create some, and then they just get that and implement it in the next game. Wasn't it one trip to a farm in the middle, a small dairy farm, in the middle of what, Poland or something like that, Poland, Russia, something like that? But even, right even that, I mean, they don't need to travel to the U.S. I'm not saying they do, but they could call up Millennial Farmer, like in the winter time, and have him talk to someone for six hours or whatever and explain his type of farming to a coder in index. And the same is true for for um, SCS. Like they could call up some truck driver and get a really honest opinion of trucking itself and then use that to improve the game. Whereas what they're doing now is they kind of, they do some research, you know, they look on Google. But what they come up with, it's not that it's that far off from reality it's just it's missing something you know yeah the docks are yeah. a great example for scs like i like tough docks i think the game should have way more but the docks but they now, have are horrible but now and like why load a tanker at a loading dock why are you gonna bump docks exactly a or a step deck or a flat deck or a log trailer you know, 
AT, not ATS, FS actually does a lot of the people who do mapping for FS. And I will give Giants this with Ravenport. You know, they actually differentiate where you're supposed to deliver stuff. That is, and in many ways, I know this sounds ridiculous, but farming sim is a better truck sim than ATS. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like I can load if we were to switch switch games right now to an American map and, and we get the XL specialized from custom modding, I can realistically load a combine onto a a trailer and if if scripted properly I could strap it down. Like it it's not it's not perfect, but it's something. Whereas right. SCS I pull up to a building I hit enter, I drive up to some, some green indicators, I hit enter again, and a machine just appears out of nowhere, and then I drive off. You know? and of course, with, with FS, you yeah. actually watch your material unload. Yes. You actually see the fill level drop. You actually see, you know, literally see your machine rock away in front of you. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'll bet with, you know, wear masks and, or excuse me, what's the term for? Wear, uh, Dirt. vehicle wear shaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirt shaders. You see your machine, you know, the LeBaire, for example, up here with me and JD. This sucker is on, what, 0% and needs maintenance bad? I can tell you right now. Yeah, because you're in it right now, aren't you? I'm about to be. Okay, yeah. But, uh, do you, uh, yeah. Pretty much. You, you, you literally get in FS, you get to see your machine turn to dust and rust piles. Yeah. When in ATS, you don't. It gives you a little red indicator on the HUD. If you now, crash. I will admit... If you I crash. Would, yes, exactly. That's if you crash. And it doesn't do anything else but serve for that purpose. And especially the... Uh, and the, the mileage is inaccurate on the dash, too. Right. And especially the... Uh, in... ATS. The PlayStation. Useless. Yeah. Just, just like, just like, you know, just like what you said the other day, Sirius. All they are are for decoration. There is no actual weight physics to me in ATS for the loads. That's a really good point, actually. Like a loaded truck really does not perform that much differently. Now, now remember when. I was, I was spreading line. Yes. You know, when me and Crown were spreading line. And I attempted with the cab over. And it, that trailer did not want to move. Exactly. But when I uh, hooked up this other truck, locked the diffs, the sucker moved. I mean, I'll admit, incredibly slow, less than five miles an hour. But it moved. You know, uh, Giants physics are marginally better than ATS. Yes. Which is terrible. Yeah, that that's, a, a lot. That, that's terrible. But agreed. Yeah, I I, I think that it's, it sounds, again, it sounds strange, but depending on how FS22 turns out with vehicle physics, and it's not that they need to do much. The gearbox, if they do a moderately okay job, and um, make the vehicle feel a little bit heavier. Like, I think it'll be a more enjoyable trucking sim, and I'm definitely going to try to convert some trucks over than ATS is because I have that interaction. Like, I can pull up to a loading dock, open the back door, and drive a forklift inside and, and load, manually load, you know, a dozen pallets. Whereas, again, ATS, with the van trailers, I mean, you imagine that the trailer is loaded. You can't even see anything. 
even has openable doors as a paid mod in its droves. And, um, speaking of that, because I, I talked to Dro, Dro's, uh, I don't know if you're talking about Dro, but Dro's uh, Utility 3000R has opening doors. And I asked him, I'm like, can you add um, the opening doors to the F7 menu? Because I'd like to be able to open the doors. You know, kind I of a, remember that. a role play I, I deal. I saw that on his Patreon. Yeah. I, re I recall that conversation. So he goes ahead and does it, and that was very nice of him. Well, guess what? You know, we can't that close the doors. Yeah. As soon as the trailer is loaded, but you cannot adjust the trailer. So I have to either drive around with the doors open, which looks absolutely ridiculous, or the whole feature is not even worth it. And you it's know, like... I, I, I will say this. For the 28-footers... For the 28-footers, though, I do see a lot of, you know, when I'm in town, you know, these local Coca-Cola delivery trucks with the lift gates. Yeah. Coca-Cola, Pepsi. I'll see them, interstate batteries. I'll see them run through town with the lift gate up and rear door wide open. Just barreling down the road. Oh, no, my goodness, yeah. It, you know, I can understand for those. I can. But not for swing doors. <laughs> Not for swing tails with, with your arrow tails. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that's just, I mean, I'm just saying, accident waiting to happen. Yeah. You know, if it was, everything was based off of real life, then yeah. You know. I think, uh, for, uh, for, uh, it has to make all those changes. I think when they started making the game, they, they didn't think about all those stuff. They didn't, maybe they didn't even uh, think they will, their game will be so successful. Okay. And they didn't have all those stuff. And then it just, it, it just uh, became too late. Because now if you want to have uh, the, the, the walk or walk, Looks and stuff. They need to basically make uh, a new game. Yes. Because, yes. Exactly. Because uh, you can't you can't implement it in this map. You need to change a lot of stuff. You need to change the, the map. You need to change the buildings. You need to change a lot of stuff. And they just can't do it. I think it's just not possible. They, so for this thing, I think it's it's too late. Even they even if they want to make it. They will need to make a new game, a new game. No, so I, I totally agree. Maybe one of the reasons, or maybe the main reason, they can't uh, add those features. Because yeah, yeah, right. the game engine itself. They need to, they need to rework all the buildings. They need to rework all the the towers and the yeah the towers mainly because they will need to add. Uh, stuff inside, like uh, the, the more details, yeah, yeah. you need to add a lot of machines, like the, well, uh, what, what's called this thing, uh, here's another thing, a lot of the modders, you know, for trailers, you know, they're starting to implement the animation features for the landing gears from FS. Or made a video, a YouTube video of it on, or you know, a video of it on his Facebook or it did about, you know, the Cheetah Tank Master getting an update. Same for the Max Step Deck with the animations for when you drop the trailer for the jack stand going down. You know, the jack stand's going down, the handle spinning. Yeah, yeah. All of that's already in FS. Yep. That's been in FS since what? 11? Probably. I think uh, the, the, the default uh, trailers also have that feature. Yeah, they do. I gotta run for a little bit. I'll only be back in a few minutes, but I'm gonna end my stream right now. But thank you. Thank you guys for the help, and uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, no problem. We'll be here. Thank you. So, yeah.